What's going on, internet people? Jossie just back. Jossie just is back. Sorry. Whatever. Anyway, hello. <coughs> um, it is February 2021, so we are in the second month of the new year. Uh, ironically, new year. It is lunar. <coughs> excuse me, lunar new year today. Hence all the red. Um, it's the year of the ox, which is right there. Uh, kind of looks like a cow, but eh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, Year of the Ox, Lunar New Year, also known as Chinese New Year, Korean New Year, which is I think pronounced Seolal. Forgive me if I totally butchered that. Um, in Vietnamese culture, it's Tet, T-E-T, -E or T-E with a thingy over the E. I don't know. I apologize again. But <clears throat> uh, basically, most um, Asian <clears throat> cultures along that edge of the world uh, is celebrating the New Year based off of the lunar calendar. Obviously, you've heard of uh, the zodiac signs, which the, the Chinese zodiac signs. So this year is the year of the ox. Um, the <clears throat> elusive 2020, which obviously everyone had a great time. <laughs> Hashtag sarcasm. Um, was the year of the rat, which almost seems kind of fitting. Uh, I guess in the folklore of the um, <clears throat> the animals of the zodiac calendar, uh, they were all moving in direction towards a river. I could be wrong, but uh, the rat talked to the ox and got a ride on the on the ox. My dad was telling me this story a few like like a few months ago, and I I I, I thought it was very interesting. Obviously, this is you know a children's story to kind of teach the um, <clears throat> the zodiac signs uh, to children uh, in an easy way so they can understand the order of. Um, how they are in the, the calendar, it's it, um, as it were. And apparently the rat had asked the ox for a ride through a river so they can ford the river, right? Because like the rat's too small, the ox is huge, so we basically rode on the ox's back across the river. The ox being nice was like, sure. And then what ended up happening was instead of allowing the ox to kind of get back onto shore and continue and finish the race, uh, the rat just jumps off of the ox's head and runs ahead of him and ends up becoming the winner of the race and that's why the rat is first in the zodiac calendar. So 2020, year of the rat. <laughs> kind of goes side and side. So now we're in the year of the ox. Uh, so let's uh, plow through <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Uh, together and try to get through this. Anyway, for the point of this video, uh, it's the arrival of the February 2021 Fresh Bake Cookie Crate. And um, I don't know if you can hear behind me, but the trash guy's here. Um, I'm filming this on a Friday, uh, which is our trash day in my neighborhood. So if you hear loud crane sounds, booming sounds, um, that's because the, the trash guy's here and he's kind of in the trash yeah i am not in a studio although i have improved my lighting a little bit I, I bought a little tiny ring light for myself i've been i've been on the TikTok, as it were uh all the young people are doing god i sound old when i say that um but <clears throat> because of that i've been doing some filming of other things so uh i've been doing coffee things i've been really into coffee lately and uh wax seal stamps you know the wax stamps like let me give you an example i filmed a video for valentine's day i haven't posted it yet but like these things that you put oh since it is lunar year i have a thingy here yeah see so these like wax seals and you can get different designs on them and color them and so i've been filming myself uh well not myself but at least the the seal itself uh being made and so i needed a tripod and a light to kind of help me with that since I only have two hands. Uh, I'm not an octopus or anything like that, but anyway, tangent. Uh, back to this, back to the task at hand. So like I said, first break cookie crate, February, 2021. Uh, it is the second box of the most recent uh, subscription renewal that I have of this thing. I've been subscribed to them since April of last year. Uh, it was, it kind of got me through majority of the pandemic, so it's been a sense of joy, I would say, in my life at the moment, especially since being uh, furloughed from uh, the Disneyland Resort. So uh, it's been a nice little uh, piece of joy, I guess, joy, happiness uh, that I can keep 
time. Plus, it takes delicious cookies, which is always a positive thing. Um, so. But we're gonna get into it right now. This just arrived yesterday, and I believe it is um, strawberry cheesecake themed. If I, can, if, I can, if I remember from the social media posts. So, which is great because I have cream cheese and I have strawberries in my fridge, so. I'm excited. All right, box opening. Here we go. Ooh. It's all red, very fitting. Also, February is obviously Valentine's month, right? So like all you lovers, non-lovers, Galentine's Day celebrators, single awareness day celebrators, you guys do you. Um, think as long as you love yourself, everything else will fall into place, right? So at least that's what I think. Um, all the red thingies. Let's get that out. All of this. Oh, yeah. I'm glad it's like paper and not <clears throat> like glitter, because I think glitter would take like a decade to clean up for these unboxing so kudos to fresh baked cookie crate for maintaining it to be paper plus paper is recyclable so helping the helping the yeah helping the environment being eco-friendly and whatnot all right so this first item staring me at the face it's not a person or an animal which is good <laughs> let me try to get the rest of these things off here Right, put the box down. So the first thing is a t-shirt. T-shirt, we haven't gotten a t-shirt in one of these in a while. And the last one we got was with the bacon chocolate chip cookies. And that's the little cute shirt too. Just getting all the paper off. It's a white shirt. Oh, that's cute. It's kind of thin, but very best baker. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And it's very soft too. Like, like soft. Like I could sleep in that shirt. All right, now, what's next? Ooh, okay. I'm kinda getting excited, so I'm gonna let my sleeves. There's this little thing, shaped like a strawberry with a drawstring. I don't know what it is. Let's find out. Open it up. Is it a reusable bag? Is it a reusable bag? Oh, snap. It is. Oh my god, that's so cute. Check that out, y'all. I mean, it's kind of small, but like if you're going out for like small stuff, like you're not getting major, major groceries or anything, or if you're, if you are going grocery shopping and you just need that like one bag for couple of items that wouldn't fit. This is it and it's reversible. Oh, that's super cool. I like that a lot. And very useful. Very, very useful. All right, let's put that down. Next. Cookie scoop. Ooh. I already have like three of these, but one more couldn't hurt. And it has a listing of like, how big the scoop is. A lot of the scoops don't say it, or they're professional, where they have like a number on the little swipey thing, and if you, sorry, the, the trash truck is just being just a teeny bit obnoxious. Are you done? No, anyway, but yes, scoops. If, you work in, if you've ever worked in the kitchen or anything like that, and you see a scoop and it has a number, on the little swipey thing. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, that tells you what the size is, and I believe it's how many ounces is in each scoop. I could be wrong. <coughs> Excuse me, but um, I'm probably wrong. I'm just realizing it right now in my head. But uh, yeah, so if you ever if you ever pick up a scoop and you or you're working in a restaurant and you see it, that basically tells you the size. Like the average size I think for this is a number 40. Uh, don't quote me on that, I could be wrong, it's been a while. But this is super cool to have a cookie scoop, it's always helpful. Um, all those cookie scoops are also good for ice cream. Just gotta heat up the little metal part and it'll just go straight through ice cream. So, pro tip for that. Uh, 
Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Sorry. Um, I opened up, I grabbed packet A and it's open. I'll have to contact, see that? Mm, I'll have to contact uh, Fresh Baked Cookie Tray. I might have to make these cookies like today uh, so that nothing else happens. Oof, that's dangerous. Sorry, right, let's put that back there. So that was the flour and like the salt and the baking powder and all that jazz. So hopefully I didn't lose too much, thankfully. Doesn't look like I did, so it should be fine. And then the second packet is for the sugar, of course. So we'll leave that in here too. And then we have a bunch of the Bischoff cookies. So these are like the, you know, the stuff you make for cookie butter or speculus. If you've ever had like, uh, like Belgian waffles and stuff. So I'm assuming this is gonna be like the crust portion somehow of the cream cheese, the strawberry cream cheese cookie thing. And then of course, covered, kind of covered in flour, the instructional thingy, strawberry Bischoff cheesecake cookie. So that's what they are. And the instructions with all the photos in it. And of course the one cookie test card, which is always nice. So in case you mess up or you need to adjust something, you can. Um, and I believe that is all that is in the box. So I'm excited. Well, strawberry cheesecake is one of my favorite desserts and putting it into a cookie form just makes it easier to eat. So, and with the packet being open, I probably should make them today, just so I don't have to worry about it. But that's all for now. Um, I will be back later with the uh, review and how the cookies look and all that jazz. So, thanks for watching, stay tuned. Going on internet, Jossie Joss back, and the cookies are baked. This is what they look like. Look how delicious! You can see the strawberries and the uh, the fish off cookies in there. So they came out really soft. Um, I think it's because of all the moisture from the cream cheese and the strawberries. Like I mashed up the strawberries, so they got really juicy and stuff. But they look good, and uh, I'm excited. Let's eat. Not too sweet, which is kind of nice. And my strawberries were a little tart, so they provide the subtle like acidity that you need with the cream cheese. And then the Bischoff cookies in there, providing a little nuttiness. Oh mm god. -hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. I do need some milk though. It's like that Aaron Burr commercial from like the late 90s, early 90s, excuse me, or mid 90s. From the 90s. Look it up. You can probably find it on the YouTube or something. But anyway, successful, wonderful, delicious strawberry cheesecake cookie with the um, Bischoff cookie crumble thing in there. Um, super yummy. I would suggest to anybody. Um, but yeah, that's it from me here with the Fresh Baked Cookie Crate from February 2020. Um, next month is March, which is ridiculous because if I haven't been called back by the next time I post a video uh, for this, it'll be a full year since I've worked, uh, which is insane. So hopefully, fingers, I'll get called back before that, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but next month, March 2021, will be the next box, and I believe it's like Irish cream, which is, it makes sense, it's St. Patrick's Day and all that jazz, so. But until then, uh, stay safe. Um, today's Valentine's Day, so <clears throat> hopefully you're with a loved one, loved ones, or even if you're just with yourself. Uh, remember, you are, you are awesome, you're beautiful, you are loved, uh, be safe, be sane, and uh, have an awesome and magical day. All right? Bye, guys.